What's up, your gang peeps? Padawans, welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a hot beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum, and enjoy my reaction to episode 6 of the 8 episode um, classic series, Manimal, 1983, um, to be exact. And um, hope you enjoyed what you're. What you're watching th thus far, because um, I've enjoyed um, actually watching it for the very first time, um, like you are. Uh, for those who are a certain age, I grew up watching shows like um, A Team, Airwolf, and Street Talk, which I did a reaction video to. So this is my first time because uh, um, I wasn't really interested. Like I've mentioned in the past videos. Um, that I've stated in um, regarding this uh, series. So, um, I hope, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy the um, the little uh, the little uh, nuances of this show, especially knowing that it didn't last long um, to be picked up for a full episode season or a series that for that matter. Um, in any case, um, before heading into the ration video part of. Um, uh, of uh, what we're all, what what you're here for, to be exact. Um, go ahead if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be for my Inner Sanctum channel or my uh, YG Anime channel for all things anime. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And like always, um, all my full length reaction videos are posted. Um, in my Patreon or in my Rumble, both links, as always, will be posted underneath uh, uh, this video along with my social media links uh, in the description section underneath this video. So, with that said, let's get into um, the reaction video, reaction part of episode uh, 6, Scrimshaw. Alright, here we go. I can't believe this place is only one hour from New York. Hey, Brooke, while well, JC's doing his experiments, how about you and me going skinny? All right, dog. Ah. Get his game on, get his squirt on so with Brooke. He's forgotten <laughs> he's only 12 years of age. He says it like 12 is young. Well, 12, 12 is young. Nine. <laughs> I was living with harem girls in Senegal. There Many are no JC harem right girls there. in Senegal. But after I left... Specimen. Totally Can't enamored with Brooke. <laughs> you know, JC? She is the most seaworthy dame I've ever seen you with. What is he from the 50s? <laughs> calling her calling Brooke. Caught in there for days. Oh, it's a seal. <laughs> Poor, Poor thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, young lady. I'll have you out of here in a moment. Just one more. There you are. Now, don't go near the fishing boats. <laughs> Waddling off. <laughs> Treasure. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Looks like a human skull. What's that? Male skull with a boomerang embedded in it. A boomerang? Yeah, still in its victim. Hmm. Oh, no. Yeah. An Aussie? Oh. Killed him? Steel blades. I'll bet he was murdered for this. Even as he died, he wouldn't let go of it. It's a testimony to its value. Sure is a beautiful scrimshaw. I wonder what the pictures mean. I bet my grandfather would know. The winds were screaming like angry sea hags. The seas were falling over us in a thousand creases. Together. Sea dog. Sea dog. Guess what we found in a cave. 
a skeleton with a boomerang in its skull and had that in its hand. Sea Dog knows everything there is about Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw? Etchings on ivory. Sailors would carve the likeness of their ships on whale's teeth, for example. Even picture stories of their exploits. Well, Clancy, what'd you make of that one? Well, he knows something. This little closer. I'll take it upstairs and see if I can unriddle the tail that it holds. Hmm, Topaz Island treasure. Very intriguing. You know, if you really want to find out who killed for a piece of scrimshaw, the bluefin's the place to go. Every bit of scuttlebutt about the sea or the sailors boils down to that place. That's a good idea, Koki. I know the bluefin. But I'm afraid none of us can go dressed like this. Uh, time to go undercover of sorts. It's a lot of money just for a drink. What do you need? For something I'm selling. Yeah, what? Scrimshaw. I found it. Jace. In a <laughs> JC, um, using an English accent tusk. instead of his British accent. It. He's undercover. Poker, huh? Yeah? Any chance we get in the game? Todd, you've never played Sailor's Poker before. Cards is my middle name, man. No kind of I can't I was gonna get way over his head. A hundred a hand. Winner of the last match goes first. Ready? Yep, Ready. balls of night. <laughs> Told you he's gonna play over his head. Three point eight seconds. And no penalty for blood. Well, I can't beat that. It's concentrate on the table. I said I can't beat that. You haven't been playing this game, have you? Think I'm crazy? I've never tried that. <laughs> Play your hand or man chew pokes for double. Hey, it's the mom from Throw Mama okay. from the Train. They and, um, uh, Goonies. Have it your way. Just realized that. <laughs> I heard you talking about the scrimshaw. Say salvage. Let me speak to Gibbs. Right. I knew it was Australian. Yes. Sea Dog Morgan, eh? No, no. You get rid of the competition. Make sure we never hear from Mrs. Avery again. I'll find out who this So that's the lady's name, is. Mrs. Avery. And I will get the scrimshaw Beautiful lady. myself. Okay. My father carved that tusk and gave it to me when I was a little girl. It was stolen. If you say ago. so. I've offered a $10,000 reward. Well, that's a great deal of cash to shell out for a piece of scrimshaw, Miss. Avery. Lydia Avery. Oh, I, uh, Avery. Can I see it now? You know, I've, uh, spent a great deal of time trying to figure out what those symbols might mean. Have you any idea why, uh, father might have carved them? You'll get ten thousand dollars from me, not answers. I have transfixed uh, the story. It was hell. On and on it went. Non-stop. The rain, the pouring, the terror. As usual, um, it's um, uh, JC being captured. Is this leaving Ty there? <laughs> Oh, 
punch that girl in the face. What's that noise? Well, some guy's gonna do some bit more remodeling in his office. <laughs> Acme Warehouse. <laughs> Those cutthroats are being paid good by someone. They blew their noses out of the immunity deal. Now some high-priced lawyers showed up. Who retained him? <laughs> he won't say. But you can bet he'll plead insanity. They keep mumbling, a panther's coming out. <laughs> uh, where's Ty and the kid? Uh, they've got to pick up a sea dog on the script show. You know, that wily old man knows more than he's telling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a fellow. Uh oh. He knows them. I hear you've got something I have been looking for. That scrimshaw's worth millions. Get me out of here and we'll share it. Go anywhere together with millions to spend on anything you want. <laughs> He's not even a cop. He shouldn't be interrogating her. <laughs> Look at little Tim's face. It was an Australian named Madge. I knew it. Australian. He works for a guy that's been after the Tusk for 30 years. I don't know his name. I just know it will lead whoever deciphers it to a fortune. And I deserve at least part of that fortune because my husband died for it. It belongs in the museum! You know, I'm afraid I wouldn't feel at all safe turning my back on you. <laughs> You'd be right. Hello? You have a piece of Screamshaw that is rightfully mine. So if you want to see your friend Sea Dog alive again, bring it to 1181 East Pier Avenue. So I cut inside of it. Hmm. Interesting. The kid freaking out. Did you see? Don't cut it in half. Cookie, believe me. This is the best way to guarantee Sea Dog's safety. Brooke, Ty! The fawn, there's something wrong with him. Come here, Stubborn. Come here. No, he looks okay. Come here, Stubborn. Yeah. Yep. That was his plan to trap him in the um to in in, 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 in there. To help Sea Dog. Putting all three of you in danger. Jason knows what he's doing. No. The scrimshaw. Let me have it. After he's safely out of here. I have searched for it for over half my life. Hmm. I have killed. And I will kill both of you now. Well, he's gonna be charged with murder then. To me. Yeah. still be laughing when his head is rolling across the floor. No! Don't hurt him, please! I'll give you the other half! Cookie, no! Well, Get it for she I'll snap his neck! Well, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, JC. I was only trying to help you, Grandpa. It's all right, bud. The New York police know who you are. They'll track you down. Explain to your grandson that they could never arrest one of the richest men in the world, which I will be, once you decipher the symbols for me. Will you bring him back at the airplane? I'll tell you where the treasure is. Oh, you will tell me. But I intend to make sure it is the truth and nothing but. <laughs> Time for a long transformation, JC. Just go for it. Haha. <laughs> Turn to the hawk. Again with a heavy breathing. <laughs> Even when she's supposedly falling. 
See, this is why this transformation needs to get a lot quicker. There you go. Union, Adamant, Meridian? Wait a second. I saw those names someplace. Here. A uh, Falconer, Meridian. Their ships are sunk. Well, did you say where they went down? Yeah. Uh, Topaz Island. That's the etching on the scrimshaw. Now, each of these dots represents a ship that went down. There's hundreds of them. Yeah, and these many are the known wrecks. Yeah, but how could so many ships sink off that small island? Well, not so, you see. The visible island... 300 miles off the coast of Maine is the above water portion of an immense body of sand. Now, you know, Lydia did mention to me something about it. the scrimshaw being carved by shipwrecked convicts. Now, maybe they found a solid portion of the island, moved the treasure to it, and then carved how to find it on the tusk. Yeah, but what are the other symbols? We won't find that out until we get there. Uh oh. Hold your arms Sink out straight. Hole. Straight. Oh. Once again, breathing heavily. Going into the snake. Ooh, this is interesting to see. <laughs> Couldn't you become something else? Like a bunny. <laughs> Excellent way to travel. Okay, we slow it down. I think we're coming to the end of the line, old man. It's exciting. <laughs> oh, great. A sandstorm. That's just what we need. That's it. A sandstorm is just what we needed. See? Look at the sun. That's the lines in front of the sun on the scrimshaw. We're following the ponies. What? It's the secret of the scrimshaw. In a sandstorm, the island shifts. The ponies instinctively move to a solid spot, which is obviously where the treasure is, so we follow the ponies. But we can't even see them! Don't worry, I can hear them. Come on. Ah, the buried treasure! After all these years... Patrick, get the kid out! Bring the shovels! The balloons! Look! I never thought I'd say this, but forget the doubloons. Let's run! But... Come on, let's run! Uh-oh. Using the boomerang. That was a weak-ass throw. Yes. <laughs> That was a not so dramatic death. <laughs> it's so on our rear plane. How did you survive it? Fancy. Tell the tale that you've ever told. Been awesome if the, the, the twist and then landed on the um landed on, on the wheels. Greedy bastard. <laughs> oh, sinkhole. Oh, it's gonna be the death of him. His demise. Say hello to Davy Jones. We risk our necks. And the government says everything we found belongs to them. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it belongs to the museum. The <laughs> Is it? Oh, oh getting his game on with Brooke. <laughs> we'll go for a nice I don't blame him. The beach. 
Are you sure that you're only 12 years old? Like Sea Dog always says, you're as old as you think you are. Then mm -hmm. in that case, I'm too young for you. I'm telling you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was able to secrete a little something from there. You mean with all that gold and silver, you swiped an old rusty compass? Well, that means more than the whole treasure put together. This is the marrow around which the bones of a story grow to be legend. Telling oh. a tale again, spitting a tale. <laughs> Thick as rats on a death ship. No stars above. above. Nothing to guide me but a rusty, rusty. compass. <laughs> Just then I spied... <laughs> A skull and crossbones whipping in the wind <laughs> off the starboard bow. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Episode 6, I'm Scrimshaw. All I gotta say is like uh, having um, Pirates of the Caribbean and Indiana Jones um, merged together, but without the uh, undead um, roaming around on the island. And um, yeah, when I said like. Um, mentioned uh, Indiana Jones, this whole episode was like, um, uh, want to have, basically stating that uh, the treasure needs to be in a museum, and, um, and with the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, theme to it as well, it just, uh, just like pirate treasure, and, and uh, it had everything in it basically, it had uh, dune buggy chases, a man throwing, uh, Australia, actually an Australian throwing a boomerang, now, Weak as can be, um, by the, by watching this episode, watching the guy throw it, and then ending up killing him, which was ironic in a way. But uh, yeah, so much going on in the episode um, with sinkholes. The guy, um, the main bad guy, um, ended up uh, just not letting go of the treasure, and that was his own demise. And that little kid, uh, twelve-year-old kid, um, Corky. Uh, little little uh, little uh, Casanova in the making, a mini JC, if you will, just uh, flirting with Brooke, trying to get get his uh, game on, and shooting his shot. I I, I don't blame him. Uh, Brooke, uh, that the actress who plays Brooke, um, um, Detective Brooke McKenzie, um, is a, a stunningly beautiful woman. Um, and uh, in any case, yeah, looking forward to the next episode. Um, the, the next episode, um, episode 7, um, before the final episode, episode 8, um, look out for those uh, reaction videos. And, um, and if you enjoyed any of my content, um, whether it be for my Inner Sanctum channel or for my uh, YG Anime channel for all things anime, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And like always, if I sound like a broken record, just want to be remind you that uh, all my full-length reaction videos they posted either on my Patreon or my Rumble, and both links along with my social media links they posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, I tip my hat to you if I had a hat on, and may the force be with you guys. Later.